Greetings and welcome back. Now this is sort of a bonus episode with the post story Jameson broadcasts and that kind of bonus stuff. I did not want to put this... Mark your calendars folks because I'm gonna say something you thought you'd never hear. Spider-Man got it right. Does that mean I was wrong about him? Am I apologizing? Hell no. You see, I have it on good authority that he is a regular listener of this program. And now, it makes a lot of sense. He heard what I said. He internalized it. And he learned. He improved himself. And against all odds, he did the right thing. So Spider-Man, you're welcome. However, don't think I'm going to go easy on Spider-Man from here on out. I'll be watching, keeping him honest. Spider-Man, since I know you're listening, imagine my eyes on you everywhere you go. I mean, not like the shower, that would be weird. Or, 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 or the bathroom. Or, let's go to commercial! Yeah, I did not want to put this in the story final episode because... Folks, I'm hearing a lot of praise for Spider-Man lately, and I'm not saying it's entirely unwarranted. He did listen to me after all, and did the right thing in the end. But dial it back, will ya? I can tell it's going to his head. Look at it. The wisecracking. The grandstanding. Swinging around the city like he owns it. This is not his city. It's mine. I mean ours. Because there is still quite a bit of this stuff. Gotta find a way to get Sable out of New York. One thing even my detractors have to say about J. Jonah James. I admit when I'm wrong. And while I hoped his efforts in the recent crisis meant Spider-Man was finally becoming a responsible citizen, a mature adult, I am here to confess I was wrong. I wanted to believe. I hoped it was true. But even a stop clock is right twice a day. And I guess curing the plague was Spider-Man's stop clock moment. And yeah, we just hit a hundred percent completion and unlocked the Undies costume for Spider-Man. So he's just jumping around with his or in his mask and his boxers, as we saw in the um after the hallucination stuff with Scorpion. Yeah, I did not show it off in this video because because it's too sexy. Well, actually, I just didn't get around to doing it. You know, looking at the dark days just behind us, most of the people involved have faced consequences. Otto Octavius is in prison. Mayor Osborne resigned in disgrace. Escapees from Rikers continued to be rounded up. The remaining demons and Wilson Fisk's men are fighting over scraps. But funny how Spider-Man has faced no repercussions. Well, sure, you might say he saved us. But should saving all our lives really give him a mulligan on his long history of reckless behavior? Tune in after this message for my answer. Spoiler, no! Yeah, for some reason, that was actually the only indication the game gives you at the end about what happens to Norman. So he has resigned in disgrace. As you might expect, of course, after re releasing what is essentially a biblical plague on New York City, so... You would imagine that would... That would have some kind of repercussions. And here we have the NYC Wallcrawler social media page one last time. And we noticed that Gloria, who you might remember we saved early on from some thugs who was on the street and... Then we told her to get to the Feast Center and she eventually found a job at the Coffee Bean and now she is apparently the manager. So that's at least a happy ending for her. And yeah, what I've been doing here as well is Showing off the secret photo ops. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get all of them, but I do end up getting quite a few in the post game and in the DLC as well. I can't let him hurt that victim anymore. Is it the last 
fit? Great! Yeah, actually this would have been a great opportunity to show off the undies suit, but... We'll get to that at some point. I realize the irony in me saying that. Some people have accused me of being negative, only criticizing, not offering solutions when it comes to Spider-Man. Here's my solution, and it's very simple. Unmask. Join the police academy. Wear a badge. Then you can catch all the crooks you want, and I'll sing your praises on this very show. And all that hogwash about how that would place his loved ones in danger? Come on! You can't convince me that guy has any loved ones. Now that was just rude. After much listener demand, today I am finally going to answer the question I have posed for many years. Spider-Man, threat or menace? Yes, that's right. It's time. I'm taking a position. And that position is... He's both! Sometimes he's a threatening menace, and sometimes he's a menacing threat. But come on! How can you menace someone without also being a threat? And, 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 and then vice versa! And for those grammar Nazis among you who say I'm being redundant, it's called art! I'm a wordsmith! It's a rhetorical device! And if you don't like it, I'll tell you where you can shove that device. Okay, my intern is telling me it's time for my pills. We will be right back. And that, I believe, is all of the Jonah podcasts in the main game. We'll have more in the DLC, of course, as well as, well, in the sidequest videos. But there's one more thing that we have to do right now. Hey, Uncle Ben. Miss you. Doing my best to make you proud. 